Johnny Thunder has just discovered another ancient treasure. Ace. I've found it at last the Horn of Africa. But where Johnny is, can Lord Sinister be far behind? In moments, I will have the horn. And Johnny, well, he could use a bath anyway. Freaky. That was close. Quit hanging around, Johnny. Dr. Kilroy needs us in Venice. This was found buried in the back garden of this house, which was once home to the famous explorer Marco Polo. It looks like part of a map, but what do those Chinese characters mean? It's a message from Marco Polo translated it re. My greatest secret, I take with me, but leave for a clue for he man who sees more than other sea, and knows the world to be more than land and sea. Johnny, this map is a clue, clue to the legendary treasure of Marco Polo. I believe you, mate, Butho do we solve the clue? Marco Polo visited China in the 13th century and wrote all about it. But I don't think the clue would be a book. Moo. This map looks like something is missing from it. Maybe. Got it. Put these two pieces together and you have a map leading to India. These Chinese characters tell an amazing story. As a reward for his services to the Khan, Marco Polo was given a golden dragon. But why didn't he bring it home with him? It was too big, so he left the golden dragon behind, hidden in a secret chamber in the Khan's palace. Then he embarked on the two-year journey back to Italy. The first treasure is hidden in India. The clue says it hides the sting of the jungle. What are we waiting for? What an adventure. I'm coming to an Orient expedition to find Marco Polo's treasure. What a story. Hee <laughs> hee. I'll be coming too, though Johnny Thunder won't know that. Until it's too late. I've always wanted a golden dragon of my own. Next, Johnny Thunder versus the mysterious Maharaja. Lord Sinister's latest plot. Elephants, crocodiles, and what is the secret of the sunstone? 